peptides are blowing up right now. I know another big one is Samorlin. Yeah. yeah what, what are the benefits for Samorlin? So Samorlin is my favorite peptide for men and Tesamorlin is my favorite peptide for women. Uh, they both work very similarly. They're both basically growth hormone secretagogues. So it's kind of similar in a manner to the way I was describing in clomiphene in that it doesn't affect your axis. Mm -hmm. When we say affect your axis, that means your pituitary to your body. Mm -hmm. It sends uh, feedback to itself to shut it down if you already have something, right? If you take growth hormone exogenously, like growth hormone injections, mm -hmm. you'll shut down your axis and you'll produce less growth hormone mm -hmm. because your body sees it as, oh, we already have growth hormone. We don't need to make any more. Problem is, it shuts down your production of your own growth hormone in your, in your pituitary gland. And if you do that for long enough, the gland atrophies get smaller and actually works less when you get off of it. So now when you get off a of growth hormone, you have a crash, okay? Uh, with sermorlin and intestamorlin, a lot of these, usually when they end in relin, it means it's a growth hormone secretagogue. So ipamorlin. Ipamorlin as well. Ipamorlin, yep, you got okay. it. Yeah. Uh, CJC. Uh, yeah. These are all going to be working in a very similar manner. So you're going to the... But hypothalamus, again, telling the hypothalamus to make more growth hormone releasing hormone. Mm -hmm. And then that's telling your pituitary to make more growth hormone. So you're ramping up the production of your own body's growth hormone so that if you stop it, you should, you, your, your pituitary is still used to making growth hormone. You didn't shut down the factory. Okay? So it's, you're essentially tricking your body to like do it naturally. Exactly. So you're kind of, it's, it's a great example of biohacking, right? Mm -hmm. Tricking your body to do it naturally so that if you stop it, you didn't atrophy that pituitary gland. Mm. That's, so it's still able to make growth hormone on its mm. own without shutting it down. Right. A, right. Lot, a lot safer than growth hormone, in my opinion. 